Yo, welcome back to my Minecraft 1.19 hardcore world. So last time we built this awesome axolotl aquarium dome. And as you can see, I have a new resource pack that makes the water easier to see through. So you can see all the axolotls and stuff. It's pretty cool. It's pretty sick. But, uh, I, you know, th this build was kind of a total pain to make. It was my first mega build of the, of the world. And I'm gonna be honest, I had a lot of issues with it. Two very notable issues are that the fireworks ran out very quickly. I, I kept running out of fireworks that were really annoying to get a bunch of. And the second issue is that this amount of glass took a ton of time to smelt and it was kind of annoying having to put everything into the furnaces. So my goal today is to solve both of those issues. The first thing that I want to do is I want to make a creeper farm. It's pretty easy to make all things considered, but I need to actually get the stuff for it. One of which being a cat. I don't have a cat, so I need to figure out how to get a cat. So I'm going to go do that. Oh, this looks weird now. Look at my water. Oh, this is so trippy. Look at, look at this. You can just see through it. Oh, I am not. That is not how I swim, but it's how I'm swimming now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Anyways, fish. Give me your fish. Oh, right. By the way, a person named Axolotl Master in my Discord made me this totem of undying with my face on it and my skin. And it looks cute. And I'm going to use that from now on. And it, yeah, I, I like it. It's pretty cool. It's not as cool as like the 3D model one some people have, but I don't know how to do that. So we're just going to stick with this one. I do not have enough wood. I am going to go, I guess, farm more real quick. Right, I also needed some wool for carpets, so I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that real quick. Okay, I believe we have plenty of wool now. Now I need to go get uh, slabs. I guess I already have blocks, huh? That'll probably work just fine. Let's just go ahead and turn this into stone bricks because, like, it looks better. You know, it's just better. Okay, this should be enough stuff, I'm pretty sure. If not, I'm going to cry, so let's hope. And now I need campfires. Oh, wait, I have all these diamonds from last episode, from all the, the grinding. Let's go ahead and use these. Why not, right? Okay, boom, 40 diamonds, not bad at all. Now I have 49, that's plenty. I, I, I doubt I'm ever gonna need more until I do. Okay, let's see if I can remember how to make campfires. It's like this, right? Yeah, okay, there's two campfires. Uh, I need to make some more trap doors, that's for sure. All right, we have all the carpet that we'll need. Just do that real quick. Now I need some hoppers. That should be pretty easy. All right, two hoppers. Okay, I think we have all the resources. Now we just need cats. All right, well, now I'm gonna go get some cats and uh, we're gonna see what we can do with this creeper farm. Now, if I'm not mistaken, there I did find a very close village, like just this way, that I didn't know about when I got my villagers before, so that was cool. Yeah, there it is. This is like like not even like five seconds from my base. That's, that's so unfortunate. Hello, you're a cat, come here, eat this. Thank you. Tell me, cat, where are your friends? Hello there, I have fish for you, come here. Let's go. That was convenient. Yeah, so I think these are the only cats in the whole village. So I guess I'm just going to take them and I guess breed them. I should be able to breed two pretty easily, right? I think so. Back home I go. Okay, and the kitties are now back home, I think. Hello, there you are. Sit and sit. How do I breed you? Do you breed with just more salmons? Yes. Okay. Okay. We now have three cats. That works. All right. Well, I suppose I need to get to work on the actual uh, structure now while I wait for these cats to grow up because I don't really need them immediately. So I am going to go do that. Okay, this spot seems good enough. It's far away from my base because it's going to be kind of ugly and I don't really want it near my base. So I'm just going to put it out here. Okay, the creeper farm is done, uh, sort of. I, I don't have the cats in there yet, which is a pretty important part. And I'm also out of fireworks, so I'm really glad that I have it done now and not, you know, later. Um, I am gonna have to like go get the cats now and breed them again and then wait for them to be adults because I'm pretty sure they have to be adults to actually, I actually have no idea. They might not have to be, but I have no idea. Um, just to be safe, I'm gonna wait though. Um, oh, also, uh, shout out to Farzy for this farm. I, I followed his tutorial that he made like, like a year ago. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna link that in 
in the description. Yeah, so now I'm gonna go get the cats and also maybe kill some creepers at night. Okay, they're all fully grown and I now need to go all the way back to that farm that I only sort of know where it is. So that's gonna be interesting. <laughs> Okay, there it is. I found it. That took a little bit. Okay. All right, I'm gonna leave them right here, and I'm gonna go light up this area so there's no actual creepers in there. Why are there only three of you? Where is the other one? Okay, sure. That, hello. Okay. Okay, the cats are all in place. The lights are all out. That is now open. I think it's good to go. I'm pretty sure it is uh, all secure already. Now I just need to make an AFK platform very high into the sky. Okay, my little AFK room is here. It's, it, I just wanted to make it a little bit fancy. So I am now going to AFK here for like an hour and we're going to see how much gunpowder we get. Okay, I, I, I kind of lied. I'm going to be honest. I, uh, that was like a, a couple hours. That was not one hour. That was like five hours at least. Either way, let's check out what we got. Oh, I am. Oh, I don't have any fireworks. Uh, okay. How much gunpowder do we have? Oh, that is excellent. Okay. That is, that is plenty. I highly doubt that I'm going to need that much more ever. Maybe for like some TNT. I don't really know. But either way, I'm going to go ahead and fill up my, uh, my shulker box with all of this pretty much. And, uh, I'm going to make some fireworks and then we're going to fly back home and get to work on the next project. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to be making is going to be a sugarcane farm, which you might have been able to guess from the fact that I made the creeper farm, which, yeah, they, they kind of go hand in hand and make some rockets. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I'm going to be honest, it's not going to be super fancy. As, as Why is this still here? Maybe I'll just put it right here. I don't know. I, I want my area to look nice, but also I'm really bad at that. So, like, I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'm going to figure it out. For now, I need to get the stuff for it, so I'm going to sleep and I'm going to go to the nether for some quartz that I need for it. Yeah. Okay, 46. I only need like 16, I'm pretty sure, but I mean, that'll that'll work. And back home we go. Okay, now I need cobblestone. Do I not have any cobblestone? Oh, I have mostly stone. Oh, well, I'm going to go get cobblestone. Yeah. Okay, now I need to make, uh, I need 16 of these things. Observer, observers, yeah, I need 16 of those. Then I need 16 pistons. I need three hoppers. Wait, I also need a hopper minecart. Okay, so I need four hoppers, technically. That is quartz. Okay, okay, I need, I need wood. I, I, okay, this is becoming an issue. I think I'm gonna try and grind some EXP real quick and get a, uh, a level 30 enchant on a diamond axe. So I'm gonna go uh, do the raid farm for like five seconds. Ow. Oh, I made a mistake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Y'all need to leave. They all have like multi-shot and stuff. Are they supposed to have that? No, 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 no. You need to go somewhere that isn't here. Oh my gosh. All right, chest plate, please put you on. Okay, there we go. There we go. We have some armor now. Okay, we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh my gosh. That zombie just used a totem of undying. He can't do that. Okay, that was completely terrible in every way. Efficiency three, I'm breaking for, for, for fortune. Oh, okay. I didn't get a really good ax or anything. That sucks actually. Okay, now I'm gonna go get food and I'm gonna gather a bunch of wood because I, I need food and also I need wood. That's why I got the ax. So I'm gonna go do that now. Oh, 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 check this out, right? I saw this trick on a video. I don't, I don't remember where, I think it was TikTok. I don't really remember, but either way, check this out, right? Right, you do this, you do this, you get your ender pearl, and then you go like. Oh. Yeah, and then it puts you on top of the tree and then you can dig down. Oh, that's awesome. That's so sick. Let's go. Okay, well now we have all the stuff that we need for the uh, sugarcane farm. So now I need to go find a spot that I'm comfortable putting it and then I'm going to build it. I kind of like this spot. This is pretty nice, right? Yeah, okay. Well, now I'm going to build the farm and I'm going to go follow a tutorial from, uh, from Waddles. From my boy, my boy Waddles. I'm going to follow his tutorial. His link will be in the description. Check him out and let's go.
Okay, and it, it's done. It's good to go. We have the sugarcane farm. It's ready. I mean, I, I made it look kind of nice. I'm pretty happy with how it looks, I would say. I didn't really know how to cover up the rail cars, but I kind of like left it open. I think it's kind of cool how it's like on stilts. My only issue is I didn't know rail cars were so loud. It's it's working, I think. I don't know. But I don't really need to AFK it because I have plenty of paper. Like, I mean, I can just harvest this farm real quick, you know, and grab all this stuff. So that one's going to be passively building over time and we're going to have plenty of it forever but for now i don't really need to afk it so i can get right to work on my next project okay well uh i sorted most of the stuff that was in my shulker boxes there uh Okay, now I've sorted the stuff in my shulker boxes and I also made tons of fireworks, so we're good there. And next, I want to make an auto smelter, a very epic auto smelter. And it, it, it's not just any auto smelter, okay? It's going to be a really cool build and it's going to have infinite fuel. I'm not going to have to go get blaze rods or coal or anything and it's gonna be awesome the only issue is that i need slime balls for it so uh i need to go find a non-mangrove swamp because like i think they can spawn there but as you can see it's kind of a mess in there like, like how are they gonna find places to spawn you know there's not many blocks so i'm gonna go fly around find a vanilla or a vanilla a uh, a default swamp a normal swamp lands biome and i'm gonna wait till my time and i'm gonna farm some uh some slimes so let's go Oh, that is amazing. We found one. Okay. Ah, there we go. Okay, hello. Is it even a full moon? Does that matter anymore? Back in the day, like, these things, like, only spawned during full moons, I swear. But now I just, like, I feel like they always spawn now. Like, what did they change? There's so many slimes. You, like, like, it's supposed to be a full moon thing. What happened to that? Nor wait, frogs spawn here, too? I thought y'all were in the mangroves only. Okay, that is enough slime balls. I am now gonna fly back home. Okay, those are my two slime blocks that I needed, and now I'm gonna get to work and getting the rest of the resources that I need for the uh, the auto smelter system that we're gonna make. Okay, I've gathered all the stuff that I need for the actual auto smelters. However, I do want to do a pretty cool build alongside of it, and to do that, I need a, a lot of quartz. I have a little bit right here, but I need like like a lot. So uh, I'm gonna go mine a bunch of quartz in the Nether. Probably gonna be like 20 seconds for you guys in like a couple hours for me. Okay, that was actually only like 30 minutes, so that wasn't even that bad, so that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna grab these, and I'm gonna go find a cool spot to build these auto smelters and see what I can do about getting them put together. How about like right here? I think this is actually a pretty good spot. You know, could you come out of my back door that I was gonna put a backyard here? Never did. Um, anyways, I got like a pathway that goes all the way over here to my epic auto smelter. I like that. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna put them right here. So, uh, I actually sort of have the method to make them memorized by now it's actually pretty easy you just uh how do you do it again you just put a chest there then you take some hoppers and you do like one two three four five six seven and eight i'm gonna do some terraforming later but that's fine consider yourself terraformed hill let's go all right place those down and then we need to take more hoppers and we go like this and then we go up here we go like this then we go three blocks out here, two blocks out here, powered rail, powered rail. Then we go powered rail and normal rails. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And then somewhere in the middle, we throw some powered rails just to make sure it doesn't stop ever. And then we throw a redstone block, redstone block. And then we do double chest, double chest. And I think it's done. This is the auto smelter. Then I throw one right there. And I throw another one right there. And then I throw a lever right there. Okay. Now this is an auto smelter. Um, for example, say we have some of this raw gold, right? That we want to smelt. We go over here. Top chest, we throw our, uh, our gold in. This chest, we throw in our blaze rods. Those get sucked into the hopper mine carts, then we hit the thing, and then it, it just smelts them all, and it's very epic and cool. And then when it's all smelted, all of it gets piped into here by the uh, these things, these hoppers, and it's awesome. But now I wanna make a second one, so I need to do that real quick. Okay, there is two of these things done now. Actually, I don't have a lever on this one. Hold on. I, I just remembered I had to forget to put it uh, right there. Okay, there's two of these things done now. Two auto smelters that both output to this chest over here. However, I did mention before that I wanted to have infinite fuel for these. So first of all, this was designed by Mysticat. I, I used their tutorial. Very cool. Very, very epic. But uh, now I'm about to use another tutorial that I found because I don't have the ability to think on my own. And I'm going to make an infinite fuel generator right over here 
on both of them. So let's see if I can figure out how to do that. Now, can we do block there, block there, block there. Okay, okay. Boom. Okay, that'll that'll work. Okay, now I need a sticky piston. Uh, no, like that. Slime blocks like that. An observer like uh, like that. Okay. Then a, a carpet, I guess. Here and then is it done? Uh, no. Okay, I had to test a little bit, but I figured out I was missing this block right here. So now there we go. It's going forever and it's very loud and I love that. But my carpet broke, so I need to replace that. All right, and then we put this carpet right here and then we flick the lever and there we go. It's a carpet duping machine and it makes me infinite fuel for my furnaces and it goes in here and then this will be filled in all the furnaces and that's epic. And now I'm gonna remake this exact same thing over here. Okay, and there we go. Another carpet duper ready and made for my furnace machine. Now I just need to uh, continue my plans, okay? I have a really good idea. I wanna make a build around this because quite frankly, it's kind of ugly and stuff and I wanna make it look pretty. So I have an idea. I might have to destroy this entire mountain for it, but we'll see. But first, we have to actually uh, do something very important with our axolotls over here. So for those that are you know new here, I every episode breed these axolotls in hopes of getting a blue one, and I name an axolotl after someone in the comments. Today I'm gonna do two of them because I want to. <sighs> Come here. Give you and then give you. Okay, breed before I drown. Hurry, a yellow one. Okay, I I I need you. Dude, come here. It's getting close. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. That was a little bit scary. Okay, this first axolotl is gonna be named Mythical Cat Gaming. Mythical Cat Gaming. There we go. We're gonna pop you back in there. Enjoy your life forever. Okay. Uh oh, this is bad. I don't know which ones I fed. Everyone's already been fed. Okay, this is not working out very well. You know, I'm just gonna wait for a bit for their breeding cooldown to reset. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, I have a big brain strategy. I'm gonna put them in here. Do this whenever they're off cooldowns. There we go, okay. What color are we getting? Are we getting blue? No, we're getting brown. Could you imagine though? Okay, well, we're gonna name this baby Noah Larson. Their comment is, what day is my hardcore on? Uh, 274. <laughs> it's been a minute, that's for sure. All right, we're gonna put you into the tank with the rest of them, and then we're gonna get my, my two out of the hole right here. Goodbye and goodbye. One day this is gonna have so many axolotls in it, but for now it's a little bit empty, but one day, oh, it's gonna look awesome. Also, by the way, there's always an Enderman in here. Is that normal? He's he's never left. I think he lives there. And he's like, he's there all the time too, so I don't know if that's like normal. I don't know if he's like despawning or, or what, but all right. And now we're just gonna get a bunch of iron, make a bunch of iron blocks, because I'm gonna need these for my build, and I'm gonna have to AFK this farm again overnight, but that's fine, okay? All right, and now I'm gonna head back over there, and I'm gonna get to work on my very epic build. And there it is, a working toaster. This is the best design I have ever thought of in my life. Nobody has an auto smelter cooler than mine, okay? There's a little lever right there that toasters have. That's the output chest that toasters also definitely have, yes. And then in the back here, there's my maintenance door. I have everything off right now because it's kind of loud and it was annoying. I actually used it in the middle to, uh, to make some terracotta and it worked very fast. And then up here, we have actual bread in the toaster and where the slots usually are, I have hoppers, right? That goes into the toaster and smelts the stuff that I put in there. It's so insane. Everything's on now. And then we're just gonna head up to the top, which I, I should make like a ladder for, but for now I have to just fly up here. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna like throw half of the gold in there and half of the gold in there. Then you come down here, give it a second. 
and there we go. The gold just starts flowing in. This is amazing. We love this. It's infinite fuel too. I'm gonna let the auto carpet dupers run for a little bit. Um, but anyways, I think I'm gonna call the episode there. So thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment for your chance to become an axolotl in my aquarium. And also tell me how cool my toaster is because I kind of like it. Yeah. Anyways, I will see you all in the next episode. Later.